going on YouTube? I uh, got another video here to make of all my clay pickups over the last, I don't know, however long it's been since I made another video. Um, not a not a whole lot to show, but some quality, some very nice stuff. So I'll just jump right into it. Um, these first four cards were cards that I submitted to uh, BGS Grading through RBI Crew 7 um, a couple months back. Um, I already knew the grades. I've seen the video. It just... I just never went and picked them up. Uh, J.W. Smitty picked them up for me, and I just told him to hold on to them until we went to nationals. Um, but I did really well. I was happy uh, for the most part with what I got. Graded um, up first from 2009, Tops Chrome. This is the blue refractor rookie card of Clay Matthews. You got a BGS nine. Got a ten on centering, nine five edges, nine five corners, and eight five surface. Um, I don't remember there being a surface issue on it, but apparently there was. So, got a nine. Um, but the good thing about that is, I had two of them, and this one got the gold label, 9.5 Jim Mint. So, if anybody wants the BGS nine, let me know. It's for trade or sale. Um, anyway, yeah, another ten on the centering, nine five, nine five nine. So that card did great, beautiful. That's my favorite year of uh, blue refractors. To me, it looks like a freaking Jolly Rancher. It's a gorgeous card. Um, this card here, I was hoping to get a 9.5 on, but it didn't. It got a 9 um, from 2011 certified. We've got the Mirror Emerald autograph of Clay Matthews. I uh, got an 8.5 on surface. That was the only thing that kept it from a uh, Jim Mint 10. I uh, got a 10 on the autograph, and that card is number 2 out of 5. So, I'm going to go ahead and leave it in the case. I thought about busting it out, but it's protected. Might as well leave it there. It's out of 5, so a 9 grade is not too damn shabby. And it's a beautiful card. Um, but the card I was most excited about getting graded, and the grade that came back on it just made me even happier. 9 fives across the board. 9 5, 10, Jim Mint, Clay Matthews. Uh, 2009 absolute memorabilia rookie card. Um, he was a short print. They only made 99 of his rookie autos. Um, to get that graded 9510 is absolutely incredible. These cards are hard to find. And uh, as for it being a 9510, that is a BGS population of one. It's the only one. So, really proud to have that in my collection. Cannot be bad when you buy a card off of eBay and then get a grade and it comes back 9, 5, 10. So that is those. On to next. I picked this card up. Um, it came in the mail actually the day I left for National. So I just went ahead and uh, opened it and threw it in my bag and hit the road. Um, I got a steal on this from the 20, new 2013 Bowman. Also a rainbow I'm completing. Um, we've got the yellow printing plate 101. I got this card for $12.99, so I was freaking pumped as hell to get that thing. Another 101 in the collection. Then, what are we going to go with next? Uh, these three cards I picked up from uh, a former clay collector. They were rare ones that I did not have, so I was able to pick them up because he's selling off his whole PC, which is good for me. Uh, but from 2009 Donruss Classics, this is one of the few rookie cards of his that I did not have. This is the Significant Signatures Platinum. Beautiful, clean card. Love that design. Love the Platinum. And that card is numbered 6 out of 25. And what I got this card for is just absolutely ridiculous steal. So, happy to have another one of the rookie cards in my collection. Then this one is from 2012 Panini Black Box Promotion. Um, typically I don't mess with these, but this one's a really cool, beautiful card, and I got it for, might as well have been nothing when it comes to these things. Uh, but they took a 2011 Donner's Elite Hitless Prime two-color patch. See the Panini Black Box? Still got the Panini seals on it. Um, I'm thinking about taking it out of this case because it's a little scratched up, and I wouldn't mind putting in a nicer slab. Um, 
I don't know if I should do that because it would probably end up tearing these little stickers off on there, but I don't know. But anyway, Panini Black Box 2012 uh, hit list, two color patch autograph of Clay Matthews, numbered 101. That's a super cool card. Happy to have that one. And lastly, hopefully this video is going quick. Lastly, this card, um, while not as rare as that one on one, I enjoy this card more, and it's absolutely incredible looking. Um, from 2012 Donner's Elite, we've got the Aspirations die cut autograph, that hollow foil, beautiful sticker auto. I mean, almost all his stuff is sticker autos, but he always keeps uh, his signature on them. And that card is beautiful. And hopefully I can get that numbering to show up. See it? I'm not sure if you can see it because not catching the light real well, but that is numbered one out of three. So that is an extremely rare card. Um, I have the regular die cuts. I've got the die cut uh, non-autos. I've got the die cut out of 52 and the one out of 48. And now I've got the autograph version numbered one out of three. And love having that card in the collection. So yeah, those are my clay pickups. I'm going to go ahead and get this video loaded up on the YouTube uh, along with my 2013 Nationals recap. So thanks everybody for watching. Um, yeah, take it easy.